swing smart we're in swing mode um, we can calculate shaft lean miles per hour in the club head speed what the face angle is doing when it hits the ball the tempo on the club that we choose so here we're gonna hit seven iron we're watching the swing path making sure that the club is swinging on a good path back to the ball and this is a great tool a little device that just straps on to the golf shaft and we can get a lot of good calculations and good readings. From here, it doesn't matter where we're located on the range. We can get the readings off of the off of the iPad or off of a tablet. Program it in there and then we can go back and look at the swings. Make sure you're working that club backwards on this next one. I want to really see it work it back. I want you to really feel feel like you're making a big loop backwards with the downswing. Set the club squarely and then drop it down. Thank you, that was excellent, good. Okay, so she's gonna hit one more. You're gonna see the readings bounce up on the screen here when she hits it. We're gonna get the calculations. Good, so you can see she's lagging the club more. The club face was open. Only a couple degrees versus the address, and then the swing miles per hour. When we compress your arms like that, do that again one more time. When you compress and lag more effectively, you're going to rotate automatically. Because you have to move it? You have to. If you don't move, then you're going to get the sensation of being stuck. Mm -hmm. That's when you say, I feel stuck. If you're not turning effectively, or your, or your turn is low, then you're gonna feel like you're stuck and you're gonna have to just use your arms and your hands to hit it. Okay, so again, we'll go back here. And I just did a demo swing just to show how the paths or how the lines are real close to each other. And then when we go back on the board here and then we look at Brianna's first swing, what you're gonna see in the first swing when we change the angle to the path angle is that the red path the club goes inside the start and comes over the top on the way down so we don't want an over the top swing we want more of a down and an in swing and that's what swing smart will help show you so let's go back now to the better swing where we did the over under drill and you look at the swing path of the over under drill from this angle you're going to see the blue line, which is the backswing, stays more out. And then she drops it more on the inside because she's got to work under the noodle to get it back to the ball. And that's what we want. We want, to, we want the sensation of the club head working down and in, or down and back, as opposed to out and over. So there, as I'm showing you on the video, see how she's really exaggerating that feeling. And again, we'll do that with the swimming pool noodle. We feel the over-under drill with the swimming pool noodle so that we're continually working the club back to the plane line. Okay, so we'll leave that sit there for a minute. Over-under. Over-under. There we go. Thank you very much. That was nice. How'd that feel? Yeah. Look at that. See the path mm -hmm. in that? See how nice that looks? That's a good pattern. Yeah. See, when you look at the red line, too, see the red line really pretty much dissects right through the middle of your body. Mm -hmm. So the blue line has to go slightly above that or more through your shoulders and then the downswing path has to dissect more through your body or bisect. Right. Like that. Yeah, that's good. I like what you just said. So the, so the visual of the swing smart kind of helps you see where the line is because, I mean, I know I'm telling you, but you can't, can't, you, you can't see it. So now you can see it. So you have, you know, the device on here. See, as you swing that the golf club, see the device is, if the club goes out this way, well then it's going to read that you're swinging it out that way, right? Mm -hmm. If you pull it in this way to start, then the device is going to show us on the screen of the tablet that the path is starting in here, and then you're moving it this way in the downswing. Right. See, I want you feeling like it's staying out longer and then coming down more on the inside to hit it. I'm afraid if I come inside, I'm just going to get stuck. 
you won't. Yeah. But see, I almost kind of in a little bit of a way is if you get stuck, you know you're just not turning. But I need you to if occasionally feel like you're stuck so that you have to turn because it's going to, to me, it's just automatically, very naturally going to force you to want to turn more. Because if you go inside and over the top, then you're effectively not going to turn. If you go out and drop it in, you have to turn. You're going to have to turn to get through it. That's another reason why, too, I want to make sure that your posture when you're standing at a dress, that you're not standing too far from the ball. Because if you're too far from the ball, then you reach to hit it and you won't turn. So when you're closer to the ball and your posture's taller and actually better, then you almost have to make the club go out and then you have to drop it in so that you have to turn through it. Right. Again, you can see the sensor, the sensor there in the shaft. Right, out, in. Okay, good, nice. Now if you don't turn, so you pulled it a little bit, see? Mm -hmm. 